11 tonight, Moderna is uh, starting its next phase in testing the COVID vaccine on children as young as six months old. More than 6,000 children are now part of this clinical trial. KPIX 5's Andrea Nakano is in Larkspur with more on this first of its kind study in the U.S. Andrea? Yeah, Ken, here in Larkspur Landing, adults that are eligible are coming here to get their vaccines. But by the summer, one doctor tells me that kids as young as 13 years old could be next in line to get their shots. We have to find out if the vaccines work the same way. Will they stop infection? Will they stop transmission? Will they stop symptoms? Dr. Von Maldonado from Stanford University School of Medicine says with data showing the high level of efficacy and safety of the vaccine in adults, the outlook is promising for children. Children make up 25% of the U.S. population. There are about 80 million people under 18. And so if we really want to reach herd immunity, we need to make sure that kids are vaccinated as well. The first phase of Moderna's clinical trial focused on formulating the correct dosage. Now for the next year, it will look at how vaccinated children compare to those given a placebo. Dr. Maldonado says Stanford has also just been given approval to hold a clinical trial for children as young as six months old, which will start in a couple of months. Parents we spoke with say they want the data and need more time time before thinking about vaccinating their kids. Maybe there should be kind of a little bit of time to see how it's all working and really have additional testing on if there's any side effects. I mean, we developed a vaccine in less than a year. That's crazy. And, you know, so far it's, it's looking really good and, and it's doing great things. Um, but when you're talking about your children, when they have different futures and you want to make sure you do everything you can for them, I don't know, it takes a little bit more time. Now, for the younger children, Dr. Maldonado says that the vaccine could be available later this year, but most likely early 2022. Ken? Andrea Nakano, live in Larkspur. Thank you, Andrea.